Hello friends, welcome back again. In this one, we'll deal with the long click listener. The behavior we'd like to implement is as follows. When a user long clicks an item, we should have four things happen. The checkboxes should appear. The one we clicked should be checked. The edit bar should appear here instead of the toolbar and a bottom sheet with two buttons, rename and delete. In this video, we'll deal with the three first ones and the next video will be about the bottom sheet. So first of all, head to the item view layout to fix something we missed, which is the layout width should be of content and layout weight should be one so that the checkbox is shown correctly. Now close this and that being done inside the on long click listener here at the bottom of the gallery activity, remove the toast. And whenever an item is long pressed, we should first of all set the edit mode to true inside the adapter. We don't have it yet, but we'll be using a method called set edit mode with a value set to true. Then the clicked item should be updated. So records at the position position set is checked to the opposite of whatever is already here. If it was checked, it should be unchecked and vice versa. Finally, you should notify the adapter that this item just changed at this position. Okay, now open the adapter and add a variable private var edit mode and set it to false by default. And we need a getter and a setter. Let's start with the getter, call it is edit mode, which should return a Boolean return edit mode. The other one is the set edit mode. Needs a mode type Boolean. And if the edit mode is different from mode, it should update it, set edit mode to mode, and also notify that the data set has changed. So the unbind view holder is called to update the recycler view. Here, what should be done is if we are in edit mode, then we should first show the checkbox with holder.checkbox.visibility set to view.visible and make it reflect the records is checked value with holder dot checkbox dot is checked equals record dot is checked. Otherwise, we should hide it and uncheck it like this. Set visibility to gone and is checked to false. Okay, but when the edit mode is activated, it would be convenient to check uncheck items by a simple click. So inside the click listener just here, instead of launching a new activity, we should first check if the edit mode is on. If so, then this should be called. Otherwise, it should carry on with the default behavior, which is to open a new activity. Okay, now let's test this. Yep. Uh, and you should notice that the toolbar is not shown here. We'll deal with it in a second, but first long click. We have our item. If you simple click is unchecked, checked, unchecked. If we long click, checked, long click, unchecked. Okay, now open the gallery activity and find the toolbar here. Give it an ID, name it toolbar and head back to gallery activity. We should bring it here. First of all, private late init var toolbar of type material toolbar and then inside the on create toolbar should be equals to find view r dot id dot toolbar now to make it appear we should set support action bar to toolbar then we should call the support action bar dot set home as up enabled to true and support action bar dot set show home enabled to true. So this shows the back button. And with this one here, set navigation, click listener. We want the button to act as a on back pressed method, which is a built-in method like the on create. But unlike this one, it closes the activity. 